Thank you very much for joining me. I'm meteorologist Brian Shields. Bermuda took a direct hit from Ernesto. The eye passed right over. I want to show you the image of that and I want to look ahead to where we'll see that next name storm develop in this video. But you can see right here, here is the center of this. Here's Bermuda right here. Now the backside of the uh, eye wall is moving in. Fortunately, a little dry air got in. Winds roughly 80, 85 miles per hour sustained in this. But the eye moved uh, right across uh, late last night and very early. Uh, this morning and here's a snapshot I took right when the eye uh, passed overhead so here's Bermuda right here here's the northern eye wall this is the radar imagery so the heaviest weather is in the eye wall right around the eye of course if you're in the eye of a, a powerful hurricane the eye itself uh, calmer conditions and there were even some breaks in the clouds when this was uh, passing by uh, but now the back side of that eye wall has uh, moved in and uh, in Bermuda the next uh, six to eight hours dealing with some heavier weather before before some of those bigger improvements start to work in. So here's Bermuda right here. Now as we swing back, looking at the uh, bigger picture, much of the Caribbean, not a whole lot of action. Of course, monitoring any of the uh, earthquake activity. We had that earthquake over five in magnitude in Jamaica yesterday. So know that I'm, I'm watching that as well. Otherwise, we have a little kind of in-between period before the next name system rolls in. Here's a closer look across the uh, Caribbean. We'll get a few scattered showers today, but overall drier weather. But this is where I'm watching next for the potential of the next name storm. So here's Barbados. You get over toward uh, Trinidad and Tobago. Now, we have a couple tropical waves that are out there in the Atlantic. The air is a little more stable, which is good, and that means I'm not seeing signs of development. But you can see a lot of action over toward Africa, all of this getting pulled in from the global uh, trade wind uh, pattern, as is common this uh, time of year. Now, later this month, uh, we are, which is really soon, a matter of days away at this point, we're going to start to see some development. And the models are now picking up on this late in August in early September, a couple tropical waves that look like they will develop. It could be a series of back-to-back -back tropical waves that both turn into named systems. Just not saying that in a scary way, just giving you a heads up. That's what we expect this time of year. High pressure builds back in. So these at least initially will be tracking toward the Caribbean. We'll see if they make another curl. We'll see if they move in. But a heads up in about a week from now, uh, we're going to start to see much, much bigger signs of a development. And I'm going to get into that further in tomorrow's video. I want to show you the development that will be possible. Now we have Ernesto out there now. The next name on the list is Francine and then Gordon. So I expect Francine, Gordon, and uh, Helene to kind of happen back to back to back very quickly late August and then really through uh, early to mid-September. September is going to be very active. It is the most active uh, uh, time of the uh, hurricane season. September into October, a lot of uh, action will be out there. Uh, conditions are conducive for development. Unfortunately, but we'll just kind of wait and see where they go and we'll track it together storm by storm. Now, the latest on Ernesto. Winds roughly about 80, 85. They've decreased some with some of that dry air that was sneaking in. We talked about that a few days ago. This will move up and lose its tropical characteristics, but still be a big wind maker. You get toward the Avalon Peninsula. Here's a Newfoundland right on the south side. Forecast on track for that. See the computer models pulling away from Bermuda, Nova Scotia, Prince Edward Island, New Brunswick. The action stays to the south. Yeah, the seas will be higher. It'll be a little bit breezier, but this is going to stay to the south that is on track. We've been talking about that for days and days. That is a good news. I like to pass along good news in the uh, hurricane season when I can. And this will just kind of clip by the Avalon Peninsula. And then, yeah, it's going to be a big wind maker as it moves over toward uh, the United Kingdom, for example. There'll be some gustier winds, watching out for some uh, uh, higher seas. You get over toward uh, Ireland uh, days and days from now. But all of this kind of curve, curves around the uh, global uh, trade wind pattern in the North Atlantic. So this is the bigger picture. And then I'll zoom down. You can see here this is by the time we get into Monday morning right Monday morning we'll see this getting very close and then late Monday and then early Tuesday so this is uh, Monday night you get into about midnight early Tuesday tropical storm conditions southern and especially southeastern areas uh, of uh, Newfoundland uh, the Avalon Peninsula right there here's that front back to the west you see that rain right there 
coming out of uh, Quebec over toward uh, New England. That's what's going to kind of push this and ha help it make a curve. Uh, thus, it will not go into Nova Scotia. Now, let's start small and then work our way up to the north. You can see here, uh, this system works away as we go throughout the uh, day today into tomorrow, but still heavy weather in Bermuda. The south end of that eye wall will be impacting us pretty much all day long. And you can see that with the wind. So here's Bermuda right here. So here's the center of Ernesto. So the center's offshore, but we're going to see those winds and you see the scale there. Kilometers an hour and 50 miles per hour, uh, or 80 kilometers an hour and 50 miles miles per hour, uh, both scales on your screen there. So the very strong winds, especially the next three to six hours, then they'll lessen. And then you see by the time we get into tomorrow morning, the center pulls away, still gusty winds coming in out of the uh, west as we work our way into tonight and tomorrow. But then all of this action will be shifting and shifting up to the north. So here we go. Watch how this comes out of Bermuda and heads toward the Atlantic region of Canada. But this front, uh, I think we've been talking about this one for about a week. This is the front that has been key for the uh, eastern United States, keeping Ernesto off to the uh, east, coming out of uh, Quebec right here. That's why it's going to make a curl. This front kind of helps uh, push it, if you will. Uh, it makes a curl here. Here's Nova Scotia. Now, not to say we're not going to see some batches of rain. Sometimes you get a predecessor rain event, some rain ahead of this uh, action. Uh, so Nova Scotia, Prince Edward Island, yeah, we could get some of that uh, rain working in, but it's more so here. This is the core of it that stays away from Nova Scotia and then working in late Monday, very early Tuesday, so overnight, Monday night with those tropical storm conditions that will be moving in. Uh, everything's going to pick up in speed as far as the uh, trajectory of this system. So quickly, uh, by 9 o'clock on Monday morning, it is pulling uh, out of the picture uh, in a fast way. So you can see it here with the winds, uh, the uh, red shading there. Those would be winds near hurricane force like we have this morning in Bermuda, 70, 75 miles per hour or about 110 kilometers kilometers an hour, then this will lift to the north. That front starts to work in a little change in direction here in the winds. That's the uh, front. The front is the uh, dividing line between cool and warm air or that change in direction of the winds. And then you see here, this is by uh, later on Monday, some of the tropical storm winds coming at 80 kilometers an hour or about 50 miles per hour in uh, Newfoundland. So we just kind of hang out as we get into uh, late Monday, early Tuesday. This is overnight, Monday night. We could have some winds gusting up to about 60 to 70 miles per hour, or on the high side, 110 kilometers an hour. That would be on the high side. Most of it should be less, but there'll be gusty winds. And then you see how this quickly gets out of the picture. So we're making those preps, Avalon Peninsula in particular, for tropical storm conditions, and of course the coastal flooding. Worse weather moves in late Monday through early Tuesday, and then quickly gets out of the picture. You see it with those seas. Of course, the seas have been very high in the western Atlantic. Here's meters. Here's feet over here, so both scales, and you see some of the uh, the seas uh, pulling out of the uh, Bermuda area, roughly about six plus meters. So we're looking at upwards of 20 to 30 feet uh, with Ernesto as it winds up. And this is all the way through Tuesday. This is Tuesday, you see how it leaves, and then the, the North Atlantic, a mess Tuesday into Wednesday. And there we go over toward uh, the United Kingdom. We're gonna see this getting tied in with the front. Seas are gonna be elevated. A big, big wind maker is gonna be moving in for our friends on the uh, flip side of the uh, Atlantic. So uh, looking at today, just some scattered showers and storms, kind of in between systems, as I was mentioning. We have Ernesto to the north, and now I'm starting to watch those signs of a uh, development off toward the east, back toward uh, Africa. So we're right in between. And that means just so you can pick a spot on the map. Next couple days, some spotty showers and storms. But the rain chance overall, the next few days is lower. And you see that here. I'm just going to zoom through some of the rain totals. You see a lot of blues popping up or nothing at all. Uh, you take Jamaica, Cayman Islands. If we get a shower storm, we may get 25, 10 to about 25 millimeters of rain, could pick up an inch of rain if we get a pop-up storm. Uh, Cuba over toward Haiti, uh, not as much as we get toward uh, the Bahamas. And because a lot of us are drier, that means this time of year, we're going to be really, really hot. Use some caution with that. Extra heat, Saba, Stacia, St. Kitts and Nevis, uh, Puerto Rico over toward US and British Virgin Islands, St. Croix, uh, we're going to be on the uh, hot side. And just a passing shower storm, St. Lucia, Barbados, Grenada, Trinidad and Tobago, St. Vincent the Grenadines, and not a lot, Guyana and Suriname, Venezuela, only a passing shower. A little bit more through Central America, Guatemala and El Salvador, and then stretching back uh, toward Mexico City. That's where we'll sell some uh, heavier rain that will be around, but elsewhere, 
just in between right now for the most part. Now the eastern Atlantic is getting more active. A couple areas out here that may try to develop watching Hawaii over here. I do expect a couple name systems as we go over the next few days to develop out here. All signs keep this pulling away from Mexico, but that's what we'll be watching uh, together. I'll watch out for any signs of changes in the eastern Pacific, but it is going to get more active uh, eastern Pacific. And then in about a week from now, we're going to see that development in the uh, Atlantic. So a passing shower storm for us in a uh, Jamaica today, watching out for any earthquake activity. 30 to 40 percent chance as we get back toward the Cayman Islands. 30 percent chance in Trinidad and Tobago, which means a lot of us just simply stay dry. Here's Barbados. We get over towards St. Lucia. That rain chance is lower and that means those temperatures are going to be uh, a few degrees on the uh, higher side or a little bit hotter. Grenada 20 to 30 percent chance of a shower, 20 to 30 percent chance St. Vincent the Grenadines could get a passing shower in Martinique, Dominica, Guadeloupe. Rain chance stays low, mainly dry. That isolated shower from Dominica right up through uh, Guadeloupe 30 to 40 percent chance of a passing shower. So even if we get a shower, it's not going to last long. Loads of sunshine around St. Kitts and Nevis and Montserrat. We're going to have a lot of sunshine around Anguilla and St. Bart's could get clipped by a shower. St. Martin, Saba, and Stacia mainly dry. Rain chance, we could uh, about 50% in Puerto Rico. That's because of the daytime heating that may spark off a shower or storm as we get into the afternoon. And watching that through the U.S. and British Virgin Islands, generally on the dry side and hot across the uh, Bahamas today. Turks and Caicos, rain chance stays very low. Loads of sunshine, 20 to 30% chance of a pop-up shower. Dominican Republic back through Haiti and a 30% chance as we work our way into Belize. Belize, a rain chance, not even uh, on the high side. Aruba, generally dry. Curacao, Bonaire, uh, mainly on the uh, dry side. And then uh, you see how that rain chance is not high here in Guyana and Suriname. It has noticeably gone down over the past uh, six to about eight days. Suriname, a uh, rain chance 20%. 30 to 40% chance afternoon storm like Puerto Rico. Cuba, we could get some daytime heating that could trigger a shower storm. Still scattered showers and storms for us in Costa Rica and Panama. 30% chance the next couple days in Nicaragua. Honduras, overall we're looking good aside from a pop-up shower storm. A little more active Guatemala and El Salvador and more active in Mexico City today. But then tomorrow that rain chance uh, drops off. Isolated shower across the uh, Yucatan. Loads of sunshine. Northern Colombia, 30-40% to 40 chance and about an isolated 30% chance in northern Venezuela. And of course Bermuda, watching the southern eyewall that is impacting us uh, this morning. And then we'll see some of those improvements late in the day, but still those gusty winds. So Ernesto going from Bermuda up toward uh, Newfoundland, tracking that, uh, cover that. You could go back in the video and take a look at that in the uh, winds expected. Uh, the Caribbean, we are in between. So we have a drier pattern this weekend, but near Africa, a lot of tropical waves are moving off. Uh, so we're going to see back-to-back uh, -back development uh, later this month and early in September. And again, more on that in tomorrow's video. And I'll monitor any of that earthquake activity. Let me know in the comments comments if you did feel that earthquake in Jamaica yesterday. So please be safe if you're in uh, Bermuda up toward uh, the uh, southern end of uh, Newfoundland. We'll be tracking Ernesto. Have a good Saturday ahead.